Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You are tuned in once again with Cindy and today I want to talk about how to stay motivated. So before I go into the content I want to discuss with you guys today, if you are new to my channel, you may have noticed that I post some motivational videos. I give others advice on other things that I use in my life to help me get through the hard times. So I'm a professional athlete. I have a lot of ideas and tips that help me every single day deal with the pressures of living up to society's ex expectations and a lot of other things. So if you want to watch videos on motivation, fitness, health, anything like that, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you will be updated weekly on videos like this. So now into the content I wanna talk about. So I know it can be very difficult to stay motivated at times, especially on Mondays. I struggle with this quite a bit and I used to, but I've gotten a lot better with it. So if you find yourself having difficulty or feeling like you have, you're lacking drive or hunger and staying motivated, then tune into this video and see how you can improve this. The first thing that I think is very essential to staying motivated is redefining your purpose. If you have no purpose about why you're doing whatever it is you're trying to do, then you are going to fail or it might, it's going to be very difficult to accomplish this goal. So asking yourself these three questions, why am I doing what I'm doing? What do I gain out of it? What Do I receive something? And also, how is it going to help other people? If we can have and redefine our purpose in life about the things that motivate us and the things that we want to have, then it'll be very easy to stay motivated because you'll know you have a bigger goal at the end of everything. You'll know why you're doing it and each day you think about that goal or you think about that end goal, then you'll feel a lot more driven. After you redefine your purpose and you kind of know the reasons why you're doing something, it is very important to visualize. As a professional athlete, I use visualization every single day. So we use a lot of visualization about the championships we want to perform in, the times we want to run. We use a lot of different visualization techniques to help us get through those hard and grueling workouts. I promise you, like, I struggle sometimes with getting through the days that I don't want to train or the days that I have to do my physical therapy to get through my injury right now. and. It is hard, I'm not gonna say it's easy, but visualization will really, really help you. So whatever it is you want and you know your end goal and your purpose for it, it is very important to visualize it. So if you have to go out and buy something to visualize it, so whether it's you wanna start cooking and you wanna buy it, so you go buy a cookbook, or maybe you want to have a certain type of body, so you put a picture of um, abs or something, whatever it is that you may want to accomplish or motivate yourself with, Go out and buy it. Visualization is very, very important when you are trying to stay motivated. So after we redefine our purpose and we are starting to visualize, it is very important to have accountability. Accountability can be anybody, maybe somebody in your family, a mentor, somebody um, that you look up to. It can really just be anybody. So as an athlete, I have a lot of people in my corner who help me with my motivation. So I have coaches, I have a track coach, a weight coach, I have a nutritionist. I have many people who are there to not only teach me certain things, but they will also help me stand up and get up when I feel like falling and they hold me accountable to my goals. So they remind you why you're doing what you're doing. And if you have somebody in the whole situation with you, it'll make things a lot easier. You're no longer just doing things for yourself, but you're doing it for the people who are you are surrounded with and the people who are looking to see you accomplish your goals. So having accountability is very helpful. And not just having accountability, but surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals. If you're in a circle with people who are doing what you wanna do or who have something that you are trying to get, then you're going to naturally feel more motivated. You're going to notice yourself acting the way you wanna act, being the person you want to be and just being motivated. I promise you when you experience that and you have that accountability and those people with you, then you will feel so much more motivated and you will start to see yourself have that hunger and drive when you are around like-minded individuals. And they will also just inspire you. Being around people who are very positive is just very inspiring. So making sure to have accountability and being around like-minded individuals is really critical when trying to stay motivated. It is important to also stay focused. I know it's easier said than done to stay focused, but it is essential with staying motivated. So eliminating distractions is one way to stay focused. So that means taking out some TV, eating the correct things that are going to help you feel better and stay motivated. Maybe taking out social media or whatever it is, 
Spending more time on focusing on your goals and thinking about what you want to accomplish will keep you very motivated. So just making sure we're staying focused is very critical. Something that is very, very important to me and I use every single day and can be very useful to you all if you have some type of faith or you are spiritual is prayer. Praying to God has been my number one source of help during my injury and it has given me a pep in my step during this journey. If you just spend a few minutes each day praying or if you are not a spiritual person or you don't have a faith or whatever, then meditating on your goals or just giving yourself some time to reflect can be very helpful. Also, just making sure to reward yourself at the end of everything. I know that sometimes we can get so into whatever it is we're trying to do and we forget to just kind of enjoy it and give ourselves some rewards. So if you're on a diet, maybe give yourself some tasty food you might really like once every two weeks or if you see yourself doing well um, and at your job maybe going out with a few friends to celebrate whatever it is just give yourself a little reward because that will help you keep going and it'll give you something to look forward to so these are just a few things that I think can be very helpful to you guys it's very helpful to me in my life I know that I use these things all the time to keep me motivated so if you have any other things or comments or any other questions make sure you leave them down in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. Bye.